there are a few ways you can spot a woman that is not right for you yes there are women out there who are just plain terrible and i mean they should never be with a good man because a good man deserves a good woman and when you find a good woman you have peace of mind i mean you begin to enjoy love and i mean you don't even care if the world is going to end right now because you have that perfect person that matches your energy that gives you peace that gives you joy showers you with love and you have great sex with them so <laughs> so you really need a good woman now let me tell you seven ways you can spot a bad woman seven ways that you can tell that this person is not right for you this person is a terrible woman this person is I don't want to call the B word, but she's just not good for you. And you don't need to keep forcing yourself on this woman. So make sure you watch the video until the end because it promises to, to, to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. So I'll be telling you seven signs, seven signs that that woman you're thinking is a bad person is actually a bad person. So hi, my name is IJ. This is Real Talk with IJ. And Real Talk with IJ, we talk about all things, love, sex, and relationship. I talk to the men. I try to help you understand women and, the, and help you pick the best woman for you at the end of the day so today we're talking about seven signs that this woman is a bitch very first one i'm going to say just because i need to say it is a woman who doesn't show gratitude a woman who doesn't show gratitude a woman who feels entitled to every little thing you do for her is not a very good man she's not good for you she's not healthy you're going to have issues in that relationship a woman who sees everything you do as bare minimum who doesn't say the smallest thank yous for even when you try to be a gentleman and you open the door for her but she sees it like oh man it's a normal thing and why should i tell you thank you for doing what you're supposed to do now i see in this generation a lot of women are becoming too entitled because of how a lot of people have misinterpreted the word feminism to being in competition with men so a lot of people have misinterpreted that word and they are beginning to get rude all in the name of being woke okay so if you meet a woman you're talking to a woman you want to date a woman and she doesn't show gratitude because she's trying to make you feel that everything you're doing is common and I mean, I shouldn't be appreciative of what you're doing because what you're doing is the bare minimum. You need to be very careful. That kind of woman will be rude. That kind of woman will not give you a healthy and happy home. Stay away from women who do not have gratitude. Secondly, you know women who try to criticize you for things that you cannot control. I mean, it's okay when you, you know, bant in, uh, in a relationship and you, I mean, healthy criticism is, is okay. You, you guys talk about it and you, I mean, you guys, Nigerians will say yab each other. You guys yab each other, make jest of each other with, you know, your situation that you cannot control. And it's just healthy jokes. But if she keeps throwing it as shade to you, situations that you cannot control, maybe your height, maybe your dick size, maybe your voice, maybe your skin or something, that's something that is natural, that is beyond your control. But she keeps trying to pick on it all the time she picks on it very rudely she picks on it when she wants to pull you down or make you feel less about yourself like she's always you know talking about this thing about you because come on we are humans nobody's perfect nobody has a perfect anything from birth so definitely we all have our downside and something about us that makes us imperfect which is the beauty about love two imperfect people trying to come together to make make love perfect for both of them so but if she's always speaking on your insecurities i mean Really, do you want to stay with someone like that? Do you really want to end up your life with someone who picks on your insecurities every time, criticizes you about it, talks about it nonstop, always make, trying to, you know, shake you up whenever you're trying to stand by mentioning and speaking on your insecurities all the time. You need to stay away from women like that. They are not healthy for you and for the entire world in general, even in the women world. We don't want them, okay? They are trash. So stay away from women who criticizes you and try to talk down on you using your insecurities. Thirdly, you know, women who try to, you know, be too bossy, like they want to give you an ultimatum. They want to tell you it is this and that is final. Like my word, it, that's it. When I speak, you need to listen. Like, come on, boss chick. This is not your company. This is a whole man you're trying to control. So if your woman is someone who, she, that is what she's saying is what is going to happen. Like this is it. And if you cannot deal with it, that's it. Like a woman who tries to control you so much that if you don't do what she's asking you to do or what she's saying should happen, it becomes a very big, huge problem. Like she wants to be the man of that relationship. She wants to control everything to the last drop in that relationship like i don't think you should be with someone like that okay that relationship is not going to be healthy because you're just going to keep being pushed and pulled in that relationship and because you're trying so much to please her she's going to keep doing it over and over again giving you ultimatum and you're going to always be trying to reach up to her expectation brah leave that relationship and go okay for your for your peace of mind you need to leave that relationship 
honestly you know we are quick even as individual we're quick to you know blame somebody else for something like we don't actually as humans we don't like to be wrong all the time we always want to you know be right but if you're with a woman who wants to always be right even when she's clearly wrong but she wants you to always accept the blame she wants you to always take full responsibility when something goes wrong even when she's a cause or when she's in the middle of all that drama but she wants you to always take the blame do i need to tell you do i need to tell you that that relationship is not healthy do i need to tell you that relationship is not healthy anyone who cannot accept their mistake and apologize and move on you know who, who is not matured enough to know when they are wrong and accept it it's not even fit to be in a relationship in the first place that person is not fit and is not ready to be in a relationship so if you're with a woman who never wants to accept when she is wrong she wants to put all the blame on you that woman is not healthy for you and i think you should you, i mean you should call her out and she doesn't want to see reasons with you i think you should leave for your peace of mind okay that woman is not healthy that's not the kind of woman you should be dating a woman who would never accept that she's wrong will become very toxic real fast another sign of a bad terrible woman is a woman who wants to talk over you who wants to talk over you let's say you guys are even having a discussion or you guys have an argument she's just always all over like she wants you to shut up and listen to her she wants to she interrupts you in the middle of nowhere when you're talking she never wants to listen to you she always wants you to listen to her like you need to shut up and listen to what i'm saying that's what she, she wants to talk like she if you leave her she's literally going to climb on top of your head brother that woman is going to bring lots of drama into your life like the drama you are not even ready for it so you need to be very careful if a woman is so rude i mean it's very disrespectful it means she's going to disrespect you every damn time and if she keeps doing this in the house and you keep letting it slide one day she's going to do it in public one day she's going to do it in front of other people and imagine your embarrassment imagine the shame and disgrace that that's going to bring to you so if a woman is always like she wants to shush you whatever you're saying because she needs you to listen to her that's plain rude that's very disrespectful that's a very rude woman that's that's a girl that you should never be with okay if she's not going to shut up and let you speak and when you're done she can say her piece you, that kind of persons are also like the first one who are very entitled so you need to call her out or you know what if it's a new relationship just tell her this is not going to work out because she will never ever be able to respect you if she keeps interrupting you when you speak I know as women sometimes we can be dramatic and we want you to you know understand what we are going through but a woman who expects you to read her mind a woman who expects you to just know what is happening you know a woman who's expecting you to just know what to do when she has never ever you know explain something to you and that's why i always say you need to have some conversations with your woman to get to know them better before the relationship gets really serious because a lot of times a woman wants to look at you and expect that you read her mind so i mean it we we can be like this even me i'm guilty of this sometimes okay but if it becomes a situation if it becomes a norm that she expects you to be a superman to be a super you need to be a spiritualist to just know exactly what she wants like you just need to know and then she begins to make lots of drama lots of issues because you couldn't do something the way she wanted you to do it but she never told you how she wanted it to be done perhaps you even asked her how this thing should be done and she she didn't give you any you know concrete answer and you decide to do it how you feel it should be done and she begins to make drama over and over and over again because she expects you to just know in relationship open, open conversation is very very important i mean I should try you should try to communicate clearly to me and i should try to communicate clearly to you and if you're someone who's always doing the clear communication to avoid drama but she never communicates because she loves and she loves that drama like she thrives on those drama then i don't think it's healthy because i mean drama doesn't tell that the relationship is strong i mean i don't see why people like a toxic environment so if you're someone who just derives pleasure in when you guys have misunderstanding and then you guys have a makeup sex i think that's a toxic environment and it doesn't matter how amazing the makeup sex usually is i mean if it's always toxic and then it becomes sweet i don't think you should be in that relationship so if she's someone who expects you to always read her mind sort of her to have an open conversation with you and tell you exactly how things should be done or how she wants things to be done then i think that on the long run you guys are going to have serious issues and last but not the least is if you're dating or talking to a woman who is always quick to talk bad about other people and like she's quick to always see other people as the bad person like she's quick to always 
you know like i said before she's always wanting to put the blame on you but now this is for other people like she's quick to always say oh this person is a bad person this person did this to me this person did that to me like she's always having issues with everybody all around her like i think you should pay attention okay you should pay attention if you have a a, a girlfriend who one day she has a friend the next minute she doesn't have that friend anymore one day she has a friend the next minute she doesn't have any friend anymore and she's always the one quick to say oh that person did this oh that person is bad that person is terrible my work colleague is bad my work colleague did this my work colleague did that you need to be very 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 careful when you're trying to date someone like that because someone who's always quick to say bad about people would definitely say bad about you okay if this doesn't go right anymore with you she's definitely going to be quick to call you out and call you out to the whole world not caring about the shame and embarrassment she's definitely going to be quick to say you are the bad person just like how she tells you that other people are also bad so these are signs to know that a woman is terrible these are signs to know that that girl might not be the right girl for you and if you found this video educative as well as entertaining make sure you let me know in the comment section i like your opinions okay keep it clean and simple no harsh words and no rude words it's okay for us to agree to disagree and we are all open to learning every day so until next time make sure you don't leave without subscribing and make sure you don't leave without giving this video a thumbs up i will see you in my next video bye for now Mwah.